Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Donnie, and this field we saw in this interesting equation over here. The first thing to understand is the Lambert W function, or another term for it is called the Lambert function or the product clock function, which states the following. We have some value over here, y. It could be represented by ln x, x squared, it could be anything, but it must be the same as at the bottom and the top, right? It's equal to some x, could be anything, right? And once we apply the w function, we usually get a singular y term, which is some value, could be anything, could be ln x, and we have this w term over here with a k. The k represents the branch number. I'll be explaining that later on in the video, and it's to the x over here, it could be anything. The first step is by getting inside this format with the, the y and the e and the y on the top over here. So we're gonna do that. So we're gonna apply a line on both sides. We're gonna bring this 9 to the bottom and the x at the bottom over here. Now, we have to apply this. The reason why we have to apply this because it does not change the original value of the equation, but it allows us to get e because we have, we're missing an e over here. We need an e, so we're gonna apply it. Right? And now we're going to divide ln x on both sides over here. And we're going to divide ln 3. So we're left off with this. Now, we're going to bring this ln x to the top over here. We're going to have a negative 1. The reason why we want to get a negative on the top and cancel this negative over here, right? And by doing that, we left off with this. Now we're going to multiply by negative 1 on both sides of the equation to get the same thing. And this is going to be represented, represented by y is going to be equal to negative ln x, right? And then we can apply the w, and the w is going to get us this, and we're going to have this w term over here. We divide by negative 1 on both sides. We get this, and we raise it to the e. e gets cancelled out on this side, and x is going to equal to this. Now we're going to explore the graph of the Lambert function. Okay, so this is the Lambert function graph, as you can see over here. Now, the first step is getting our function that we have over here. We're going to solve for this. We're going to solve for this ln 3 divided by 9 multiplied by negative 1. And this is negative 0 0.122, which is represented by this purple, uh, pink lines, excuse me. Okay. And now, we know that this branch w0 is this over here. And we know that branch negative 1 is this green one over here, as you can see over here. Note that our function, this pink branch intersects at two points over here, so we're going to have two solutions. And this is this blue straight line over here is the vertical asymptote of negative 1 divided by e, which is represented by negative 0 0.368, okay? Now, what we know, case 1, right, if is x greater than 0, is our x greater than 0? No, right? So we're not going to have this case, okay? Let's proceed to case 2. Is our x between these two values, yes, as you can see over here, our pink line is between the 0 and this negative 0 0.368. So we're going to have two real solutions. And if case 3, let's say it was a different example, case 1 and case 2 are not satisfied. We have infinitely complex solutions, okay? Since we have this, we could apply, we could use a calculator and we could apply w to the zero branch we're going to achieve this as an answer which is 1.5082 which is which is located on this graph as negative 0 0.14 because we haven't applied the negative and the e okay once you apply these two things you should get an answer similar to this as seen over here this is represented by this portion on the graph over here and we're gonna get 27 and these are our two real solutions that's it for this video so please leave a like and subscribe and i hope you guys have a wonderful great day